spoils and wrapped in strips of cloth for burial. And the tomb is a building in which a dead person is buried. The Nile and Religion Ancient Egyptians were very religious. They believed in the power of the sun and the Nile River. Both could give or destroy life. The Nile played a big part in belief in life after death. The rise of the Nile's floodwaters represented the death of the land. When waters went down, crops would grow and bring life. The most powerful Egyptian god was Amun Hara. Pyramids and Temples The pharaohs of ancient Egypt had the following built Pyramids The pyramids were places where pharaohs had their bodies housed after their death. And temples, as well as obelisks, were built. One famous obelisk is that at Karnak for the Queen Hatshepsut. Ancient Egyptians believed that there were many gods. That is why they built temples for their gods. Egyptians believed in more than 2,000 gods. Their most famous god was Ra, the sun god. They also believed temples are the dwellings of gods and goddesses. They buried the pharaohs in tombs inside the pyramids so they could enjoy the afterlife. The Sphinx The Sphinx was also built by the pharaohs. It is a limestone statue with the head of a human and the body of a lion. Mummies Wealthy Egyptians had their dead bodies made into mummies. They believed that a person's spirit lived on in their body after death, so it was very important not to let the body decay. A spirit needed things he or she used in this life, in the afterlife, The people put food, clothes, furniture and jewellery in the tomb with the mummy. Let's have a look at the process of making a mummy. The dead body was dried out and treated with special oils, herbs and spices applied to it. It was then wrapped with cloth and placed in a sarcophagus, an Egyptian coffin. How were the pharaohs buried? The pharaohs were buried with the following things that they would need in the afterlife. Their treasures, food and clothing. The statues in the tomb took care of the dead in the afterlife. There were colourful murals depicting daily life. The ancient Egyptians believed that writing on walls protects the dead from evil. The priest who involved the body wore a fox mask. The fox mask depicted the god of death, Anubis. Pharaohs. There are some very important women pharaohs in ancient Egypt, including Cleopatra, and Nefertiti. The kings and queens in ancient Egypt were called pharaohs. Most pharaohs were men, but some well-known pharaohs were women, such as Nefertiti and Cleopatra. Pharaoh was the most important and powerful person in the kingdom. Pharaoh was the head of the government and high priest of every temple.
the pharaoh owned all of Egypt. Hatshepsut was the first queen of Egypt. She was married to Pharaoh Tutmose III. When he died, she became Pharaoh. She wore a fake beard and men's clothing at ceremonies. The people respected her. She made sure that Egypt got rich because she sent ships to trade. Hatshepsut had her own temple built in which she was buried. She also has an obelisk at Karnak. The pyramids. Pharaohs had temples, pyramids and obelisks built. Why was this? The pyramids were built to house their mummified bodies after death, so they would always be remembered. It's a great mystery how the Egyptian slaves got such huge blocks of stone to the tops of the pyramids. The first pyramids were built almost 5,000 years ago. Some are still standing today. Let's have a look at Giza and the Sphinx. The Great Pyramid at Giza was built about 2,450 years before the birth of Christ. It is 146 meters high. There are 2.3 million stone blocks, each weighing approximately 2.5 tons. It took 5,000 people 20 years to build. Next to the Great Pyramid is a huge statue of a pharaoh with a lion's body, killed the Sphinx. Hieroglyphics Egyptians developed a system of writing named hieroglyphics. It was believed that if your name had not been written down somewhere, you would disappear after death. Hieroglyphs decorated pyramid and temple walls, as well as stone. These hieroglyphs were writing about the great works of the person they were built for. The hieroglyphs were written by scribes. In the beginning they wrote on stone or wet clay. Later, a special kind of paper, called papyrus, was invented. The earliest examples of writing in Egypt are from about 3,400 years before Christ. These hieroglyphs tell us a lot about ancient Egyptian life. Rosetta Stone Discovery in 1799 the reason why we are able to understand the hieroglyphs is the discovery of the Rosetta Stone in 1799. It is writing on a stone that contains the message written in three languages, including hieroglyphics, Greek, and a later form of Egyptian. Researchers working on the stone knew Greek and Egyptian. They were able to work out what the hieroglyphics meant. For this exam hint activity, you can use the hieroglyphics alphabet in your learner book to decipher a message. Examples of this message will include I am your king, the Nile River gives life, and scribes keep records. Egyptian Mathematics Ancient Egyptians had a special set of hieroglyphics for doing mathematics. They needed mathematics to work out various things. Farmers would use maths to work out how much and when to plant. 
builders for how much stone to use. Traders will use mathematics to determine how much their goods were worth, and they also needed maths for astronomy. Have a look at the different mathematical hieroglyphics. By using these symbols, you can use, you can determine different calculations. look at the bottom to see how these different symbols would represent different numbers. Astronomy in Ancient Egypt Astronomy is the study of the stars and planets. Astronomy was very important in Ancient Egypt, and for this they needed mathematics. Pyramids and temples were built in relation to the stars. Astronomy was used in working out the calendar. They also used astronomy to figure out when to plow and to plant. Now let's have a look at medicine and physicians in ancient Egypt. Physicians are people who treated sick people in ancient Egypt. They did this with medicine, basic operations. They removed growths and tumors. They set broken bones. They pulled teeth. Physicians are also called doctors. Egyptian medicine was very advanced because some of the ancient Egyptian physicians wrote on papyrus about how the human body works, about the medicines they used to make sick people better. Have a look at the statue of the Egyptian physician Imhotep. Today's diseases also existed in ancient Egypt, it includes tuberculosis, pelagia, malaria, and polio, as well as migraines. What is anatomy? Anatomy is the study of the human body and of how bones and muscles in the human body fit together. Ancient Egyptians worked with bodies in the process of turning them into mummies. With mummification, they learned a lot about anatomy. Physiology is a study of how bodies work. Egyptians gave names to various organs, including the heart, the liver, the lungs, and the brain. This shows that they must have known about these organs. It worked out that your pulse was related to your heartbeat. Pharmacists Pharmacists are physicians that examine sick people and diagnose their illnesses. They would treat the problem and prescribe medicine, just as doctors do today. Pharmacists would prepare medicines mostly from herbs and minerals, like salt and copper. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.